Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal and this is your latest news update. Man, I am just starting to get over yesterday. You know that feeling we had throughout that game yesterday, before the game, during the game and also after the game? I would never wish that feeling on anyone. That was painfully stressful going through the whole game, not knowing whether FC Porto are going to get a last minute winner um, or beat us on, on, in the penalty shootout as well. Like penalty shootout is 50-50. Yes, you can have good penalty takers, you can have a good goalkeeper, but you never no, um, your best penalty take on that day could trip and put the penalty out. Your goalkeeper might end up having a bad day, not save any of the penalties. He might save one and still go in. Like a lot can go wrong, but we went through it and we managed to book our um our place in the round of uh, not round of sixteen. We are through that. I don't want to go through that again. To the quarterfinals, the draw is on Friday. Uh, will we face Madrid? Will we face PSG? Will we face Man City? Whoever. Some of them want to face Arsenal. Looking forward to it. Um, bring on anyone. We will be ready for them um remember on friday um we'll be live with that um draw reaction let's see how it goes on um friday um join me for that um live draw reaction around afternoon time i've already scheduled it so make sure to set a reminder for that one one player that was really, 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 really good yesterday was David Dreyer. Um, one of the main reasons he went through yesterday um, was David Dreyer. Uh, what a game from him. During the game, he made two very good saves. One in the first half, one in the second half. I think one was from um, Ivan Nilsson in the first half. I don't remember the one in the second half, whose shot it was, but he really did have, have a good game. And well, probably the main reason why you've gone through, because maybe if you didn't make those penalty saves, you never know what would have happened after the fifth penalty and after the sixth penalty and after the seventh penalty and um, so on and so forth. So, um, a lot of, a lot of, I, I saw a lot of people yesterday saying, you know, because there's still some people who feel like Rondil should be playing and all that. Um, yesterday, I saw some people saying, listen, Raya definitely is starting to feel like an Arsenal player now after making those saves in the penalty shootout and helping us progress the quarterfinal of the Champions League for the first time since 2010. He's starting to feel like an Arsenal player. Although he's not actually an Arsenal player yet. He's actually still a Brentford player. That is why he didn't play against Brentford the other day. We still need to sign him. So what's the latest in terms of that one? Fabrizio had this one to say, I had this to say, Arsenal plan um, includes David Dreyer's buy option to be triggered without any doubt, already decided months ago. Arsenal will invest 27 million on that as planned since last summer. So um, he's not yet an Arsenal player, but um, it looks very likely that you're going to sign him for 27 million. Not even looking likely, we are definitely going to sign him for the 27 million um, pounds, and that's a bargain, you know. Now, um, considering he's just taking us to the quarterfinal of the Champions League, all of a sudden that looks like a bargain. Last season, he was um, probably the second best goalkeeper in the league after Ramsdale in terms of saves and save percentages, number one in terms of that, and he was really, really good. And um, we've, we've seen his qualities this season, his kicking qualities. And since we came back from the Dubai break, he's... Um, the, the the quick counter attacks like against Crystal Palace's throwouts and obviously is kicking as well. Yesterday against um FC Port, apart from the saves and the penalty saves, the way that he was handling the crosses and taking a bit of pressure from us, he was very good. And you want a confident goalkeeper behind you. And I was thinking, you know, a couple of months ago when Ramsdale was removed from the team, I was thinking, man. I don't know if the likes of Gabriel and Saliba would be happy with that because, you know, it feels like they were getting along with uh, with um, Ramsdale and they were creating a relationship there in terms of playing together every single game. But um, it feels like they've already, like, uh, it's, it seems like they, they, they've been playing with Dreyer for like three years already. Like the way Gabriel and Dreyer and Saliba, all, those are, are, all of them have a connection with each other, that really, really helps. So for £27 million, I think that will be a very, very good signing. Um, the, the one thing I don't know is the 27 million is it budget from january or last summer that you carried it on or did we have like enough money at that time and you're waiting for our budget for this summer transfer window to get him i don't know hopefully it doesn't take away too much from our budget in terms of whether we're going to get a strike or, or a wing or whatever the plan is for this summer um we still need a goalkeeper though and he's a very very good purchase we know that uh Ramsdale is probably not going to be here next season. So David Dreyer for £27 million. That is a welcome signing. Uh, very, very good performance from him yesterday. And he's all of a sudden become a, become a national hero. He's become a national hero and really, really happy for him. Uh, uh, you could see when he was making those saves how happy Atita was. Because, listen, um, the one thing I always tell Arsenal fans, you can praise one person without, um, like, um, crapping on the other. Let's use, use that one. 
you, you can do you can do both. Uh, you can you can do one without doing the other because I usually see Arsenal fans saying Tommy Asi is really good, but you know that's why I was telling you Zinchenko is terrible. Zinchenko cannot do this. Or someone says oh Trossard is good, but you know Jesus cannot do this. He cannot do that. No, Ray is a good goalkeeper. Ranzil is a good goalkeeper. It's unfortunate that it had had to end this way for Ranzil. I I. I I still don't think he's going to leave Arsenal as an enemy or anything like that. I'm sure everyone is going to wish him the best, the players, the fans and all that. He is one of the reasons why he got to this stage. So um, I'm happy that uh, both of them... Um, so I'm not going to say like Ramsdale made a mistake over the weekend. Ray is better. I'm so happy. No. Um, thank you for everything, uh, Ramsdale. He might still end up playing this season. So let's uh, not be that quick to throw away, um, <laughs> throw 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 away the keys. No, he still might end up playing a key part. Yeah, I mean our season. But for Raya, um, he is signing for Arsenal. Um, 27 million pounds. I don't know when it's going to be confirmed. Let's just wait. Now, that's on Raya. Um, as I said, Ramsdale is probably going to leave next season. We still need a second choice goalkeeper. So, what is our plan for that one? Well, there is news today on potential second choice goalkeeper next season, according to McGrath Michael the Telegraph. Um, Arsenal are eyeing a summer deal for USN Columbus School goalkeeper Patrick Schultz as they assess options should Aaron Ramsdale move. Uh, at Arsenal, Schultz is seen as having a similar profile to Matt. Tana. So let's start with the first part first um, in terms of Ramsdale move because they've written if Ramsdale moves. I don't know. Is there a chance that Ramsdale could end up staying next season? I really doubt. If there was, would you want him to stay next season or do you think it's going to carry on the drama for another one year? Or should Ramsdale play? Should Raya play? Is this one the number one? Should this one be back to being number one? Or do you feel it's going to be too much drama? Just um, finish that story, bring a second choice goalkeeper, have Raya as a permanent number one. And then when it, when we have cup games, he can play the second choice goalkeeper. How do you feel about that? Um, but um, there's a 80% chance Ramsdale will leave. So this is the next goalkeeper you're looking at um, from Columbus crew. Um, Matt Turner came from USA as well. I think the Matt Turner signing was a bit of PR as well because you have US owners just bring a US goalkeeper on a chip and maybe get a, a good a little profit for him. Um, he's gone to Nottingham Forest and most of the Nottingham Forest fans are asking, how in the world was this guy even playing for Arsenal? He's terrible. Like that is what they're saying over there. That is what they're saying. They're saying... He's not a good goalkeeper at all. So we don't want to get yourself into that situation. You know how important it is to have two good goalkeepers. You can see Man City or Terga Moreno, second choice goalkeeper is good. Kale at Liverpool, second choice goalkeeper is good. So you need a good second choice goalkeeper because you never know when you're going to get suspensions or injuries. Those things happen. Alisson is currently injured. Ederson is currently injured. You never know when those things happen. So you need a good second choice goalkeeper. So we are looking at um, Schulte. Um, I, I can't lie to you. I don't know too much about him. Um, um, if it gets any closer or we become like 100% serious on getting him and other sources confirm it as well, then we'll do some um, in-depth analysis on him and see what he's going to bring to us. But um, I think it would be better to just get a second choice goalkeeper to end that drama. Um, but let me know. Maybe you feel like Ronzel should stay and be our second choice goalkeeper next season. I don't know. He was pretty happy for Ray yesterday and um, for us going through to the quarterfinal. Let's see. But that is a goalkeeper that we are linked to. So it's going to be busy for us in terms of um, goalkeeper deals in the summer you're going to complete the raya one we might end up um selling ramsdale and you might end up getting a second choice goalkeeper after that and what happens to a conco and carl hein as well so there could be like three four goalkeeper movements in the summer for us it's going to be a busy one now when fabrizio tweeted about um david dryer he also said the couple of um he also talks about a couple of our players as you can see new deal um already completed for tommy as well as we know um new deal to be sealed soon for ben white as well so it's a, such a good time to be an arsenal fan uh david dryer will be here ben white is signing a contract tommy also signed a contract recently saliba signed a contract same with gabriel saka signed a contract recently odegaard um we are going to be get into that very soon. Like, it's so good. Rice has just signed for us. We have us has just signed for us. And like, it looks like none of these players could be out next season. If you had to ask me right now, out of all of these players that we have right now, how many would probably leave next season? We already know about Cedric and El Nini. They don't get too much game time. And also, the age, is, the age is not on their side. So we know they're probably going to leave. But in terms of the rest of the team, I'd be telling you, all the defenders personally, I'd keep Zinchenko and everyone else as well. Midfield-wise, 
parties want to discuss at the end of the season. Let's see how, um, if he's able to stay fit between now and the end of the season, but that is one to discuss um, at the end of the campaign. Uh, we obviously know the likes of Katie and Nelson and Smith Rowe, but for more, all the other players, I'd say definitely keep. The others we have to discuss whether we need to sell them to get money for elsewhere. We need to see. Personally, I'd still love to keep Smith Rowe, but let's see what happens at the end of the season. Let's talk about Kai Havertz. Um, very good penalty yesterday, composed. I saw a lot of people saying, oh my goodness, Havertz is about to take a penalty. Oh my goodness. Nah, man. This guy is built for those situations. Don't get nervous when Havertz is step stepping up for a penalty. He's built for those situations. We are past that. Um, we are past that um, era of, oh my goodness, he has the ball. What is he going to do? Nah, nah, nah. He's been on really good form recently and you need to put your trust in him. And this is uh, what the... The international break is coming up. Um, the last time he played for Germany, he was playing as a left back. And all at that time, people were ridiculing him and saying, oh, you know, he's been playing at left back. He can't play forward. He's, uh, you know, he's, not, he's no longer a good attacking mid player and all that. He has to be moved to defense. Well, what he's been doing recently, I think the German um, coach has also realized it. He's um, seen the light. And um, as um, CF Bayern say, after the left back experiment, um, Julian and I Goldsman will now play Kai Havertz at center forward, which is um, great. Now, I think both, both ways are great. For him to play left back and central midfield and all that in the country, at least it kind of, kind of helps us see okay, he can play this position where we didn't actually know he could play there or this and that. But when he plays the center forward there as well, he gets more, you know, experience in that position and um, he probably gets his confidence even more if he scores a couple of goals in the international break. So it definitely helps us. So I'll definitely be keeping an eye on the German games as well to see how Harvard does for them. He's been good for us um, up front um, and I'm really, really happy. I'm happy that um, he's changing, he's, um, changing people's opinions on him. Because I, I never really thought that he was, um, we were carrying him really. Um, he was not as great as he was right now, but um, I just thought Arsenal fans needed a little bit of patience. And the rival fans are quiet now. You can see they're not happy at all to see him doing well. So it's pretty interesting. That's the latest news in terms of a goalkeeper search, in terms of um, new deals for Ben White and Tom Yas, and in terms of um, German Germany's um, plans for Kai Havertz. So, so happy, man. I'm still buzzing after yesterday. So, so happy. These guys absolutely love them. All of them. Thank you so much. Um, make sure to hit the like button. Let me know what you make about all that. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.